This is a review of the Lego Infinity Saga Iron Man Iron Monger Mayhem uh, set. Uh, this is set 76190. has 479 pieces and three minifigures. Um, now let's get into the review. And here it is, the Iron Monger uh, Mayhem set built together. Now let's talk about the minifigures. Here is the first minifigure, probably the best Iron Man I've ever, well, in my opinion, because it's just so classic. Uh, this is the Iron Man Tony Stark Mark III suit from the first Iron Man. And it's taken us since 2007 to get this suit finally, or this whole set in general. Um, but I think this is a really great suit of the, of the attention to detail, you know, everything. So fun fact, the Mark II is just a recolor. Or Mark III is just a recolor of the Mark III or Mark II. Blah. Mark III is a recolor. Of Mark II. Blah. There we go. Uh, and it does have a dual face. So if you take the hair off, move the head, then you can put the Iron Man helmet on. Boom. There you go. Got Iron Man with his his um heads up display. Close the mask. Look. I am Iron Man. He does come out with a couple accessories. Um, he has this, you know, jet uh, uh, foot repulsor, or whatever jet repulsor. Um, has a couple little blasts, um, and you can edit these. So you can, I believe, you can take this one, right? Say, for example, take this out and replace it. Boom! You have a big blast just to make it look cool and go and attack Iron Monger. Um, like I said, this is probably my favorite Iron Man just because of how classic it is. Um, so now, move on to the next minifigure. Here is uh, the next minifigure. It is Pepper Potts from the first Iron Man movie. Um, like a, uh, She just kind of looks like her regular self before she became Iron Man's wife, you know? Um, she's got the regular ginger hair, suit, because she was like the vice or whatever, the vice or, actually, no, I think she be, did. In Iron Man 2, she became the president of Stark Industries or whatever. But back then, she was like, may, I don't remember. Um, she does have a dual face. She can flip it over, and she's a little angry. Um, and then, so yeah, that's Pepper Potts. Um, let's go on to the last figure. And here is the first ever, like, in movie time, kind of MCU ish, this time, first Marvel villain, Obadiah Stane. Um, this is a pretty good figure. I mean, it captures his, you know, beard and everything like that, and his old self, you know. Has his, you know, his suit and everything like that. I think this, I think Obadiah looks really good. Also known as the Iron Monger. Well, technically, that's in the name of his suit, but whatever. Um, this figure looks really great, though. Um, captures his perfect baldness right there. Um, and something I'm so glad about next couple waves of Marvel sets is, I believe it's soon, we're, uh, in a little while, we're going to be getting a new Hall of Armor set, uh, Hall of Armor set, and this one is going to have, um, what's his name, Whiplash, and I'm so excited, we're finally getting characters that we actually need minifigure versions of, Whiplash. Next, I hope we, hope we can finally see someone like, you know, Abomination or something like that, you know? I think what Lego is doing is really great. I mean, they're expanding and stuff like that to go back to old stuff. And here's the whole, here's the main reason why they never made original Iron Man sets, like original 2007 Iron Man sets, it's because back then another toy company I do not remember the name of it um, had the rights to stuff like Iron Man and Hulk, like those original films, and so that's why never, Lego never made any sets based off of those movies because they didn't have the rights. Um, so yeah, now let's talk about. The minifigure, or the not the minifigure, but the main build itself. All right, here we, here we go with the Iron Monger. This thing, I mean, it's not that accurate. I mean, the Iron Monger in the movie was never that big, but if you're good, if you're good or whatever, you can always mod it and stuff like that. Uh, but I think this just looks really great. You know, it looks very all looks all technical and everything like that. So let's just kind of take a look at it. Uh, so the legs are. Nope, that didn't mean to happen. The legs are posable, so you can kind of stretch them out like regular um, Lego mechs and stuff like that. Uh, the legs are 
not really that movable because you got these stoppers and stuff. Um, and obviously, you know, you just kind of readjust it. Uh, Ironmonger does have toes, mainly so that it can, mainly it's just so I can kind of stay balanced a little more. Um, and then as you move up, um, you can kind of see, kind of looks like, makes it look like hydraulics on this um, rod or whatever, but it looks pretty cool. Um, the whole torso itself can rotate, like most Lego mechs, so you can kind of make it do, you can make it a, do a whole 360. Whee! Glad nobody's in there right now. That would be sick. Um, so on the, I believe this is the right arm, you have a missile launch, um, stud, like a rapid stud shooter. Don't really feel like shooting it right now. Um, and then there are little hands uh, to show that it's, you know, maybe he's about to uh, shoot some stuff. He's got, you know, because those are technically just based off of the original Iron Man suit because he kind of copied it. And so, you know, he's got the repulsors and everything like that. Um, throughout the arm, kind of looks like a bunch of hydraulics and just a bunch of pumps and rods and everything. I think my favorite part. It's just this rod itself. Just look at it move as you move the fig as you move the mech. The whole oh, and that was not supposed to happen. Um, um crap, all right. Goes right there. Yeah, it's not supposed to pop off, but no oh well. Um, and each arm does have uh, shoulder pads or whatever, whatever you want to call them. I guess shoulder pads. I guess that's what I would call them. Um, actually I'm going to keep this repulsor blast on here, because I think that looks pretty cool. Um, in the middle there is a little arc, re arc reactor, and fun fact, if you turn off the lights, you can, it glows in the dark. I'll show it by covering, my, covering the camera with my hands. But you can just see it, it's kind of glowing in there, and it looks pretty cool. Uh, let me see if I can get it real set up right quick. Now you can really see the glow on the arc reactor, and I think it looks really cool. Um, so yeah, let's get the lights back on. And then in the right hand, once again, it's pretty much the same thing, except you have this kind of newish uh, stud shooter thing. You just kind of push it, and everything kind of comes flying out. Um, and it's pretty cool. Um, but once again, still kind of bulky and everything like that. But you kind of got to get used to that. Once again, like I said, pulsers. Pretty much the same thing as the other arm. Um, just, you know, reversed. Same thing with, like, the legs, how they're just reversed. Um, on the back, there's pretty much not really much of anything. There is this, but this handle, but I don't think that does anything. Um, now, on the inside, there's not really much. Obviously, you got the head. Then you lift the head up. You can even, I believe you can even move it, like... Is set up. I mean, you can probably even you can probably lift it like that, and then just lift it like that. On the inside, there's not really much. Just a control panel on the place to sit, so you get your you know Obadiah. Um, catch. I think you can. No, you cannot have him stand. You have to have him sit. Yeah. So you do have to have him sit, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, his arms kind of do go up in the air. This kind of big for him, or sh small for him, whatever. Then you close it up, and there's a little hole in there, but, I mean, it's nothing to cry home about. It's still cool. And I'm just glad we finally got one. Um, you know, obviously, just lift it up. There's Obadiah in there. It's pretty cool. Um, there is a little crate that has extra ammunition and everything like that, in case you lose some. Um, and then, you know, you can have Iron Man and Iron Monger, you know, battle it out. Iron Man! Uh, I, I don't remember much. I haven't watched Iron Man in a, it's been maybe a year since I've seen Iron Man. Um, I try and watch the MCU at least once a year. Uh, if that makes me sound like a fanboy, I am a fanboy. Uh, yeah. Alright, so, that's Iron Monger Man, and I'll see you guys in the next review. Peace.